good morning. So I'm Professor P.K. Biswas, uh, one of the co-PIs of this project from IIT Kharagpur side. Uh, in fact, uh, myself and uh, all my team, team members, uh, we are very happy to be able to partner with uh, IIT Bombay, particularly Professor Patak, uh, to contribute to a greater national cause. In fact, from IIT Kharagpur side, uh, side, we have uh, already successfully conducted three of the workshops. Uh, and the fourth workshop, uh, for the fourth one, which is on control systems, the main workshop is going to be uh, going to start next week. So people are fully engaged for organizing uh, that part. Now regarding the technical issues, the issues related to AVU software, uh, Mr. Shajan Dikshit and uh, Mr. Shubhrat Nayak, uh, they'll be talking about it, but uh, before doing that, I just want to uh, raise few of the issues or the problems that we are facing from the remote centers. And uh, most of the problems which Professor Patak discussed in the morning, uh, it is not that they are only with IIT Bombay. These are the common problems we are facing at IIT Kharagpur as well. So I request that the remote centers or the remote center coordinators, uh, they should uh, address those problems uh, uh, quite sincerely so that the problems are solved and this program can be conducted very smoothly. And uh, it is quite clear that success of this program can only be achieved through proper communication, coordination, and cooperation of all the resource persons, the resource institutions, the remote centers, the remote center coordinators, as well as the workshop coordinators. So everybody has to cooperate properly for success of this program. Now, regarding the technical issues, what we have found that anything goes wrong during any internet-based activity people always pass the blame to bandwidth of the internet. I can tell you with guarantee because I am head of computer center at Kharagpur and it is my responsibility to maintain the network at Kharagpur. So in 90% of the cases I have found that the problems being raised by the users is not on the network side but on the end equipment side. So please, whenever you face some problem, in fact, some of the problems I identified after discussing with my technical team at Kharagpur, that some of the issues or most of the issues can be solved at your end by upgrading the desktop on which you are running the ABU software. Of course, bandwidth or the network bandwidth is an issue because uh, for smooth conduction of these video conferencing activities, what is suggested is you should have minimum of two Mbps connectivity, both in the downlink as well as uplink side. So if you don't have, please upgrade your bandwidth for this VC purpose at least two Mbps. And the other issues which was told about that um, no continuity of audio video, then audio echo. Okay, audio echo may be due to two reasons. One is acoustics, and other one is bandwidth. If your bandwidth is not sufficient, you can have an echo on the audio side because the voice packets that you get, the voice packets get corrupted. And this is the kind of protocol which is used for video conferencing is not a TCP protocol. So it does not guarantee that you receive the packets as it is. You can have corrupted packets. Okay. Uh, so for continuity in audio and video, Again, that might be one of the problem. Then the other problems that they told about is the desktop sharing, which is not visible at the remote end. And similarly, slide or whiteboard synchronization that is also not proper at the, uh, at the remote end. So after discussing with them, what I found is in most of the remote centers, you are still continuing with i3 processor with four, megabyte, uh, four gigabyte of main memory. But for this kind of applications, I propose that you upgrade your system minimum to i5 with 16 gigabyte of main memory, if not 16, at least eight gigabyte of main memory. 
because memory refreshing when it comes to the user side, that is very, very important. And the rate at which you receive the data at the remote end, i3 processor with four gigabyte of main memory may not be sufficient. So at the remote ends, you try to upgrade your desktop to i5 with 16 GB preferable, if not at least eight GB of main memory. And if you do that, and if you upgrade your internet bandwidth to two Mbps, I think most of these technical problems that you face, that will be solved.